Hello everyone, it is Shakes. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get face it in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now everybody knows that CSGO's matchmaking system is inherently flawed. The only reason you're stuck at Silver 3 is because your teammates are bad. But what if I told you about a mystical service where you have teammates that actually have the monitors turned on, 128 tick service so you know every single bullet you missed is actually your own fault, and a ranking system that for the first time ever might actually represent your skill level. If all of these things sound too good to be true, I'm sorry you've lived so longer under Valve's rule, but this is how it should be. And this how face it matchmaking servers actually are. So the first way you can download this is going to be in this video I'm going to be showing you guys so you can actually have some decent matchmaking and have CSGO matches that you might actually enjoy. Well th that's a little bit of a stretch for CSGO but at least ones that you'll definitely come back to. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to faceit.com. I know a big surprise, you thought you were going to go to Twitter to download Faceit, but anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do is click Download for Windows. And while you're at it, you might as well just create your account right here, because you're going to have to make an account for this so it can track your stats and all that other kind of stuff. So just sign up like you would with any other service, it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy, and once you actually have your account, you can just click X, you can close out of your browser after you open up this file. After you click it, you're going to have this nice little face logo popping up, and you can just close out your browser at this time. And once it's finished loading, you're just going to want to sign into your Faceit account that you just made 15 seconds ago. Hopefully you have a better memory than a goldfish and actually remember your details, but anyway, just put in your details and then get signed in. Once you're here, you're just going to see this nice little homepage. You're going to see the streams, who to follow, you know, Face It News, online friends. As you can see, I don't have any friends. You can also invite friends to Face It if you want your other friends from Silver to actually climb up the ranks to become a pro player. But what we're really here for is playing into play. You're actually going to, surprise, surprise, click the play button up here. Click that, and then you're going to see I have current games right here. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click this, and then click add game, and then you can add whatever games you want. You can add Danger Zone if you want to play Danger Zone competitively. I don't know why you'd make that decision. I don't know why you'd put that much stress on yourself, but if you wanted to, you could just click that. Boom, you have it. Just connect Steam, and then you're going to have it added to your games. I have CSGO in TF2 here, so I'm just going to click CSGO. And after I click this, you're going to see the matchmaking opportunities I can have. I can click CSGO 5v5, which is a normal match, or CSGO 5v5 Premium, which I talked about a little bit before. There's also a premium version that's really, really cheap per month, actually, that you can get if you want to have a little bit of a better experience. But that version is entirely optional, so all you have to do is click the CSGO 5v5 thing, and then once you have it here, then you can click play up here. You can also choose maps if you want to have, you know, a little bit of a different experience. If you hate Dust 2, then you can also change the map. But again, that comes with premium. So as you can see, it requires premium to change this. And you also have to at least select three maps so you can only play on Inferno if that's the only map you have smokes memorized for. But for the majority of us who don't have specific map preferences or don't want to play on premium, you just got to click play. And here, this is going to say as solo, as team, and your username, and then create team. So as solo is what you're going to want to do if you just want to solo queue as team and then underscore your name is what you're going to want to do if you want to invite friends to your party so you can party up and play with your friends if you don't exactly want to solo queue and then also over here is going to be create team and you're going to want to do this if you have like a five stack that you're going to want to play consistently maybe you want to you know start up a little bit of a pro or a semi pro team then this is what you're going to want to choose but make sure if you're going to click create team then it's going to be you know a permanent type of party designed to be used more frequently so it's kind of like an actual team instead of just you know a bunch of your friends just you know randomly lobbying up so pretty much solo if you're going to solo queue team underscore your name if you just want to play with some friends and create team if you're going to want to have a five stack that you're going to play with consistently but anyway with me to continue the narrative of this video i'm actually going to click solo because i have no friends as i said previously and just click play and it's going to have you queued but wait, you thought you can get into a face it match that early? No, the first thing you're going to have to do before playing any matches is click on this little anti-cheat thing and then click download because you're going to want to download their anti-cheat. It should be a pretty quick installation so you know it's going to open up a browser then it's going to have a little bit of a face it installed right here. Just click it, click yes, click I accept the agreement and you know you can read this if you want to but you probably don't want to. I, in fact, nobody that is watching this video is ever going to read this so I don't know why I even said that. And then make sure these are checked if you want to, you know, if you want to have a desktop shortcut and if you want to install the Faceit client, it's already installed, so it's not really that big of a video. But just make sure they're checked if you want to, then click next, click install, and it should be a pretty fast install. And you're going to have one of the best anti-cheats for FPS games downloaded onto your computer. Cough, cough, Valorant Vanguard with kernel access to your PC files. But it should be a pretty fast installation, then you can just click play again, you can click whatever you want to click, you know, you can just click CSGO matchmaking, and then you can click play, and then you're going to hop into a queue really, really fast. Also, make sure to wait for it to download updates, because obviously you want the updates to be there first before you jump into any kind of match. 
and you might need to restart your computer to complete the installation of the anti-cheat that happens all the time. But anyway, after you do restart your computer, you're going to be perfectly fine, able to click play, and you're going to be able to jump into your beautiful face it matches, where according to most people, it is only sunshine and rainbows. You only rank up, you only get to the highest ranks, you only play with great people, and uh, yeah, it's 10 times better than matchmaking. Tricks aside though, if you aren't very good at CSGO matchmaking, face it isn't going to make it any easier. In fact, the majority of players are considerably, considerably better than those in matchmaking. So just kind of keep that in mind. You might even need a more competitive mindset here because everybody kind of understands the game a little bit better. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's a very competitive time. So yeah, if you're not into that, then uh, this video might have been an entire waste for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, whatever they say. And I uh, hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace.